Hey guys and gals, this is my very, very favorite client, Erin. Erin is kick ass and I love her. And so she wants her fun hair back and so we kind of got a big job today. So here I'm going in with deep weaves, deep weaves. And I want deep weaves because I want big contrast when I apply her fun hair. So I'm going ahead in and I am using Oligo Pro with... Olaplex, of course, and I'm using my Nomad foil board, my pink pewter comb. It's the never let go comb. And I'm just going to brace that against her body. And I am going to apply my lightener and I'm going to feather it up. Now we are going to blur all these lines out. This was a big, big job. It took me like five, six hours. So going ahead and applying all of the lightener to the deep weaves throughout the head and she wants like galaxy hair, purples, blues, pinks. So we're gonna go ahead and create all that lightener. Now, she has roots, we have to cover her roots. She's got orange hair from her previous color, which I do not want anymore. So we're just going ahead and creating that face frame. I do not use the board when I do the face frame, I just, place the foil against the person and kind of fold it up. I don't like hair hanging in people's faces. It's kind of a thing that I learned like a long time ago when I was in beauty school. Like they said, never let any hair hang in somebody's face. So I really try not to let that happen because it's annoying. And so again, just going in with those deep weaves, placing my foil board underneath, applying my lightener. I'm not really worried about like blurring and feathering and all that kind of stuff because I'm going to go in and I am going to base her. So right now I'm just going in with Pulp Right and a Demi in uh, 70 and 522 because I want kind of like a purple color. So and that damn foil kept falling. And um, so now we're going to go ahead and this was the result after her lightener. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to base her with 700 and 522 in Pulp Riot with 20 volume. And I just want to blur those lines away. It came out kind of light, so you're going to see I'm going to just put more direct dye over it. So I am going to base her through her whole head, and then we're going to let that process for like 30 minutes. We're going to rinse her. We're going to stop oxidation with Malibu Deox. And this is where I'm going to do my Olaplex number two because I don't really like letting the hair sit wet. So now that all that's done, we gave her a light trim. We dried her up. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to place royal purple along the base just because I felt it came out a little light and I'm going to adjust that on the next appointments. And then I'm just going to go in with all my fun colors. I'm going to work that brush side to side. Why do I do that? Because it spreads the hair open and it kind of like rolls the color in throughout the hair. And now I'm just like making sure that like underneath I didn't put pink. I have blue underneath there. And so as you can see, I have pink underneath this one. So I'm going in with my custom purple that I made. And I always put Olaplex in all my direct dyes. Direct dyes have no effect on the hair. There's no oxidation. You don't mix it with anything. What comes out of the tube is what you see is what you get. So basically, if you add Olaplex number one to any of your direct dyes, you're going to get like almost like a standalone treatment because there is no effect from direct dyes on the hair. So I'm just going to go in. Sometimes I comb it through. Sometimes I work it through. I wipe my hands after every single application because I don't want to cross contaminate the hair and get certain colors on other parts of the hair. Um, as you can see too, I will pick different colors and put them in there. I will use different fingers to smush them together. I'll use the back of my hand because that's clean to avoid wiping my hands a gazillion times. Any Thing to reduce the amount of wiping, but I still need to wipe my hands. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to work these colors through Erin's hair. It really did come out so beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see the end result. Sorry, it's a really long video. There's a lot of footage with this one and uh, a lot of work. Five hours condensed down to five minutes. So you get like an hour a minute. Yeah, that's about what it is. All right, here it comes, guys. Here's the final result. I absolutely love the way it came out. It came out so beautiful absolutely beautiful hair party hair love it she loved it see you guys later hey guys and if you like that video don't forget to check out this one and don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the ding dong